everyone. I wanted to show you the makeup that I'm packing for Maui. If you saw my video on the outfits that I'm taking, you will understand why I'm packing the color schemes that I am. I have a lot of orange. When I looked, uh, the way that I pack my makeup is I have my basics and then I will vary my eyes, cheeks and lips based off of the colors that I have. And I have a lot of orange in my color scheme, so that's what you're going to see today. So let's quickly knock out the basics. Revlon Colorstay Foundation would not be without it. Also my hard candy glow all the way. I am going to be taking my Anastasia brow dip pomade because this is going to last even when I go in the water. Waterproof voluminous mascara, same reason <laughs> it will last when I'm in the water. My Essence eyeliner, which I absolutely love, topped with my NYC eyeliner. Uh, the Sen Sonia Kashuk concealer, which I've really been enjoying lately. And then for my primers, I will use the 5-in-1 Bare Minerals, which has really been nice. I haven't done a review on this yet because I'm still, jury's still out, but it seems to really get rid of my wrinkles. And you still need a primer though, so I will be taking my Fergie Wet n Wild. Mm -hmm. So that's the basics out of the way. And now for the colors, which is the eyeshadow, the blush, and the lipsticks. I am taking my NYC Sunny, which I will use as a transition color. No matter which shadow I'm using, I guarantee you I will be using this every single day. When I'm at the beach, I plan on using either the Jordana Scandal Eyes with the Sunny in the crease, just simply quickly patting some on each eye. That'll be the look, uh, with maybe with a touch of the mascara, and off I go. Or I could use this NYC, which is in Chestnut. Really love this, and I'm hoping that it'll last with the water and um, have some staying power. The other one that I can use either at night or at the beach is the L'Oreal Infallible in Bronze Taupe. So I figure between those three, that gives me some nice variation of some long lasting, easy to put on, put the sunny in the crease, slap on one of those three and some mascara and I'll be good to go to the beach. For nighttime, I am taking my newly, fairly newly purchased beloved Anastasia palette. Absolutely love this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Gorgeous colors. I can create so many looks from it. I have a huge range of these oranges in here that will work well with all of those orange colors that I have. I can get it, make it more of a brown look if I want. I have some green for that one green outfit that I have. The purples, if I need to get into that, I've got one outfit I could use that with, but I think that this is gonna tied me over well. Now to supplement it, because I want to really accent the oranges, I am going to take my Maybelline Corals Coral. For my blush for the beach, I can have this NYX um, Cream Blush in Magnolia. It is quite moist and I think hopefully it will last. So this will be easy, swipe it on, kind of blend it out good to go. I can also use it at night if I want. And then I'm going to be taking my 10 blush palette from Coastal Scents. Love this palette. I take this a lot when we travel. It has a beautiful selection of colors. I can get the corals, I can get the pinks, I can get more taupes, whatever I'm looking for. I have got this variation. I was considering packing some of my favorite Milani blushes or Physician's Formula, but this is very thin and it gives me all of the variation that I need. So I'm gonna just stick with this. So for my lipsticks, I'm only taking two pinks and two oranges. I am taking a gloss for each of those, but I figured the pinks will last me whether I'm wearing that green dress or uh, the black dress or the yellow dress and the orange colors will last me with all of the other ones. So for the pinks, I am taking my Wet n Wild Dollhouse Pink and my CoverGirl in Enchantress and I will top both of those with this Wet n Wild 576 Sinless Gloss. For the oranges I have my Wet n Wild Purdy Persimmon that lasts all day and if it's too vibrant I can tone it down with this or with the lipstick of 
this uh, BH Cosmetics Coral Escape, which even though it looks really vibrant, is softer. And then I can top each of them with this NYC blush or gloss. And it doesn't say the color, but this is beautiful. Sabrina at MAC Shadows turned me on to these NYC glosses. I really, really like them. Really. That's the makeup that I'm going to be packing. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. I'm trying to pack fairly light because it's very casual there and I have to leave room for all my jewelry as well. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'm definitely going to be vlogging from Maui. We'll talk to you next time.